Well, hello, hello everyone. Pastor Judy here. Welcome, welcome to Comfort Ministries. Praise the Lord. I wanted to share a brief message with you today on godly character. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We are to be coming like our Heavenly Father every single day. Godly character. We want to be just like our Heavenly Father. Amen. Once we accept the Lord as our personal Savior, the Lord is working on us to and fro for us to be able to become more like Him each and every single day. In order for us to be transformed and be like our Heavenly Father, we have to spend time in the Word of God. Amen. Each and every single day, we do. So, let's say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for bringing us together here at this time. Lord, help us to take a good look at ourselves to where we can work out our salvation to become more like you, more like our Heavenly Father. Help us to not quench the Holy Spirit when um, we're quickened to um, make some changes. Lord, help us to do that. Lord, thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Well, praise the Lord. Okay, so we're going to look at a few things here. This is going to brief moment, okay? Anger. Do you have a problem with anger? Good book says, be angry and sin not. Don't let the sun go down on your wrath. For our Heavenly Father, He is gracious and He's full of compassion and He's slow to anger and He has great mercy. We're supposed to be the same way. We're supposed to be gracious to people. We're supposed to be compassionate. We're supposed to be slow to anger and to have great mercy. Amen. The discretion of a man to feareth his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. The dear Heavenly Father above, I'm sure he becomes very angry over many things, but once we repent and turn from them, Amen. How about, um, Charity. Are you a very gracious person? Do you give from what you have? Or do you keep it yourself? Or do you powerfully talk about it and kind of rub it in a little bit to people who don't have things, you know, showing off a tad? Well, we're supposed to give because freely we have received and freely we are to give. Amen. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay him again. So we are to pity the poor, and we are to help when we can help. And when we do that, the good Lord tells us when we do unto our brothers and sisters in Christ, we are doing it for the Lord. We have to be remindful of these things sometimes. Amen. Comfort. Do you comfort other people? Are you there for them when they need you the most? Do they know that you love them? Do they know that they can count on you? When the rubber meets the road and they need to make a, a turn for some help, 
Do they know that they can come to you? Do you reach out that loving and compassionate comfort to one another? The good book tells us that how the good Lord has comforted us. We are to go and comfort others. Amen. The Lord comforts us all the time. He's with us all the time. He watches over us all the time. We fall when he picks us up. We go the wrong directions, he redirects us. He's compassionate, and he gives us comfort when we need it. God is our refuge, and he's our strength. And yes, he is a very present help in the midst of my trouble. Amen? So I'm not going to fear of what this old earth can do. Even though the mountains be removed, even if they go into the midst of the sea, even though the waters roar and they are very troubled, I will not be shaken because the Lord is on my side. He's going to take care of me. Even when I walk in the midst of trouble, he will revive me and give me the strength that I'm needing. And he stretches out his hand, his loving, compassionate hand, to help me. We are to do the same thing for everyone else. That's what the Lord means. I've comforted you, you comfort others. Are you pulling them out of the storm or are you tossing them into the fire? I mean, what, what, what you doing? The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And yes, I will trust in Him. Nehemiah 1 7. Contentment. Now we're talking about godly character and how we're to conduct ourselves and, and do what we're supposed to do. Kind of basic stuff, but you know what? We miss a lot of the basics, we miss a lot of the nuts and the bolts. We really do. We really do. A sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy is the rottenness of bones. You can look around there, you can see lots of people that's not content with what they have because they're stealing what other people have. Or they're trying to overpower people, or they're in competition with one another because they're not content. They're not content where they are. They want what other people have. Well, that's not contentment. A sound heart is the life of the flesh, but the envy, rottenness of the bones. That might be good for a few moments. But it could be gone in a few moments. Be content in the Lord and the life that he's given you. And if you're in a bad spot right now, just reach out to the Lord, okay? And believe it or not, he's going to help you to be content right where you are because he's going to give you courage is what he's going to give you. He's going to give you another gift from him. That's a gift of the Spirit, courage. That way, when you feel that you're uh, not content, you can wait on the Lord. And you can be of good courage. And what he will do, he will strengthen your heart as you wait for him. And the good Lord, he is not going to forsake his saints. He will preserve them forever and ever. He will give you courage. But then again, those who are not content and they're robbing and they're stealing and they're, they're tearing up churches and houses and they're stealing things from senior citizens and stealing money out of their bank accounts and all those sort of things. The Lord don't like that. Okay? The Lord does not like that. 
The Lord said the wicked will be cut off. They will be cut off. Your enemies. How do you treat your enemies? You know, there are people against you. We're not fighting against flesh and blood, but there are some pretty mean folks out there that would take you out in a minute. Because again, they're not content, okay? And their courage is in themselves and what they can do. You see what I'm talking about? Godly character. The list goes on and on and on. Faith. Do you have faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed that you can say to this mountain, Be thou removed, and it's removed. The good book says that you can with a little grain. Mustard seed size faith that you can say to the mountain, Be thou removed, and it will be removed. You know, I done that one time. With smoking cigarettes. And I decided, well, I think, I believe, as I think about it now, the Holy Spirit was quickening me to quit smoking. And I said, in the mighty name of Jesus, I will not smoke these cigarettes again. And I went in, and I spoke those words, and I met them in my heart, and I took action into my own hands, and I broke up those cigarettes and put them in the toilet and flushed, flushed them on down. And I did not smoke a cigarette. And I didn't crave anything either. The Lord healed me of that because of my faith in Him and what He can do in me. We are to be growing in our faith. We are to be fruitful. There's another godly character, fruitful and multiply. I am the vine and my father is the husband. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he's going to take away. And every branch that bears fruit, the Lord's going to purge his floor in order for it to bring even more fruit. We are to be fruitful and multiply, and we are to be abiding in the vine, Jesus. The Lord says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that beareth abideth in me, and I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Hmm. And we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. And we will bring forth fruit when it's time. And the Lord's leaf, it will never, ever wither away. And whatsoever he does will prosper. Amen. Gossiping. We are not to be gossipers. We are to control our tongue. We are controlling what we say about other people. That's a godly fruit. That's a godly character. Self-control of oneself. Amen? Hope is another godly character. You're hoping in the Lord. You know where your hope lies at and you depend on the Lord. Amen. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, wherefore ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your hearts. All ye that hope in the Lord. For thou, O Lord, are my help. For thou, O Lord, you are my hope. 
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his abundant mercy, hath begotten us again unto a lively hope. The resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Amen. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. For our hearts shall rejoice in him. Because we have trusted in his holy name. And the Lord has spoken these things to us. That we may have joy and remain in him. Full of joy. Full of hope. Full of forgiveness full of grace, full of love, full of self-control, full of fruitfulness and multiplying, full of forgiveness, full of faithfulness, full of faith, full of love and compassion, mercy, Obedience, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, godly character. Let the Holy Spirit have his way in your life. Let him help you to become more like Christ each and every single day. Some days you're going to fall short. We all do. But um, continue to stick with the Lord and... And just simply pray to him and ask him for your help. He'll help you. He loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love that nothing in this world is going to take away from you. So just cling to the Lord, okay? Dear Holy Father, thank you for this message today. And help us to be mindful that you are trying to help us to become more like you. Each and every single day with a precious, precious gift of the Holy Spirit with inside of Help us not to grieve the Holy Spirit. Help us to pay attention. Help us to be mindful of godly character and that we are to be acting like our Heavenly Father. Lord, we're asking for your help. We can't do it on our own, that's for sure. So, dear Lord, you're our Savior. You're our everything. You're our King of kings and Lord of lords. So, Lord, help us to become more like you, more on fire for you, to where we can go and tell people of the hope of glory that resides in us. That's you, dear Heavenly Father. Help us to do that. Lord, we do ask for forgiveness where we have failed you. Lord, please forgive us. Help us to get it right. Help us to turn. Help us to control our mouth. Help us to control our actions. Help us to control ourselves when we don't want to be too forgiving of someone when they've done something to us. Lord, help us to be like you. Lord, thank you for hearing my simple prayer. I love you, Lord, with all my heart. I pray that uh, this has blessed you, and I hope that it blesses others. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining me today. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. God bless you. If there's anything that I can do for you, anything at all. I mean, I don't have any money, but I have a lot of love in my heart for you. And I surely will lift you up in prayer and whatever the Lord has given in my hands that I can offer to you and, and to help you and to help get the gospel of our Lord and Savior out there. I'm here to help. So just let me know, okay? Send me a message uh, on any social media channel out there and uh, under Judy Bailey Jackson. Or you're welcome to send me an email at judyjackson1976 at gmail.com. I also, there's a new Comfort Ministries um, web page that you will find uh, out there on social media. Just press on that if you have a special prayer request or you have a message that you want me to broadcast. Um, 
We'll get it on out there. We sure will. Alrighty, Pastor Judy here, signing off for now. Remember the good Lord loves you and I love you too. We'll be chatting with you soon. Go out and bless somebody okay with that godly character of yours. Amen. Thank you, Lord.